Hello guys. This is Dr. Rizwan Mirza. Welcome to my channel at Gertologist. Hello guys. Let's discuss a very important medical problem, which if not diagnosed and treated properly can be fatal and life-threatening, that is pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is the inflammation of the pancreas. Pancreas is a large gland located behind the stomach that plays a key role in digestion and blood sugar regulation. There are two forms of pancreatitis, that is acute and chronic. Acute pancreatitis is a sudden and severe inflammation, while chronic pancreatitis is a long-term condition characterized by persistent inflammation. Acute pancreatitis can be caused by number of factors, including 1. Gallstones, which is the most common cause, where gallstones block the pancreatic duct, leading to inflammation of pancreas. 2. Excessive alcohol consumption, can trigger inflammation. 3. Physical trauma or injury, to the pancreas, can lead to inflammation. 4. Certain medications, may contribute to pancreatitis. Causes of chronic pancreatitis, include. 1. Long-term alcohol consumption. 2. Multiple episodes of acute inflammation can lead to chronic damage. 3. Cystic fibrosis, which is a genetic disorder affecting the pancreas. 4. Hereditary factors, some individuals may have a genetic predisposition. Symptoms of pancreatitis include. 1. Sudden and severe pain in the upper abdomen. 2. Nausea and vomiting, which is accompanied by abdominal discomfort. 3. Fever and increased heart rate, which are the signs of inflammation and infection. In cases of chronic pancreatitis, patient might experience persistent abdominal pain, which he will find to be radiating to the back. The patient will have weight loss and will be malnourished. And patient will develop diabetes, as the pancreas loses its ability to produce insulin. So how, do we, diagnose, pancreatitis? The diagnosis of pancreatitis involves a combination of clinical evaluation, laboratory tests, and imaging studies, including 1. Serum amylase and lipase levels. Elevated levels of these enzymes in the blood are indicative of pancreatic inflammation. 2. Complete blood count, to check signs of infection or inflammation. 3. Liver function tests, to assess liver health and rule out other possible causes. 4. Alkaline phosphatase and gamma GT. 5. Elevated serum triglyceride levels, can contribute to pancreatitis. 6. Abdominal ultrasound is performed to scan pancreas and surrounding structures, helping identify inflammation and potential causes like gallstones. 7. CT scan abdomen, which provides detailed images of the pancreas and surrounding areas, helping assess the severity and extent of inflammation. 8. MRI, may be used to visualize the pancreas and ducts, particularly in cases where a CT scan is inconclusive. 9. ERCP, that is endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, performed in some cases, particularly if there is suspicion of gallstones or ductal abnormalities. It involves passing a flexible tube through the mouth and into the small intestine to inject contrast dye into the pancreatic duct. X-rays are then taken to visualize any blockages or abnormalities. The treatment of pancreatitis include 1. Immediate hospitalization, for pain management and monitoring the patient. 2. Patient will be asked to fast and not to take any food or drink per oral, to allow the pancreas to rest and heal. 3. Medications for pain management or required cause the patient will have severe pain. 4. Antiemetics are prescribed, for nausea and vomiting. 5. Intravenous fluids are usually required, especially in cases where the patient is volume depleted. 6. TPN that is total parental nutrition, may be required in cases where patient is malnourished and is not tolerating anything orally. TPN provides, calculated nutrition and calories via intravenous route. 7. Addressing the underlying cause, including, the removal of gallstones, treating alcohol dependence, or adjusting medications. 8. Treatment of complications, such as diabetes or pancreatic pseudocyst. 9. In severe cases, surgery may be considered to alleviate blockages or remove damaged tissue. Complications of pancreatitis, include. 1. Pseudocyst, formed by accumulation of fluid, debris, and tissue around the pancreas. These cysts can cause abdominal pain and may become infected. 2. Infection, 
the inflamed pancreas is susceptible to bacterial infection, which can lead to more severe complications and systemic illness. 3. Necrosis. Severe inflammation may cause tissue death in the pancreas, leading to the release of enzymes into the bloodstream, potentially causing multi-organ failure. 4. Respiratory complications. Severe cases of acute pancreatitis can affect lung function, leading to respiratory distress or failure. 5. Kidney failure. The release of inflammatory substances can affect kidney function, leading to acute kidney injury. 6. Persistent pain. Chronic pancreatitis is often associated with ongoing abdominal pain, which can be severe and challenging to manage. 7. Malabsorption and malnutrition. Insufficient production of digestive enzymes can lead to difficulty absorbing nutrients, resulting in malabsorption and malnutrition. 8. Diabetes mellitus. Especially in cases of chronic pancreatitis, loss of insulin-producing cells results in diabetes mellitus. 9. Pancreatic ductal obstruction. Scarring and inflammation can cause narrowing or obstruction of the pancreatic ducts, leading to further severity of symptoms and complications. 10. Pancreatic cancer risk. Chronic inflammation of pancreas increases the risk of developing pancreatic cancer over time. 11. Ascites. Fluid accumulation in the abdominal cavity can occur as a result of liver or kidney complications. 12. Pleural effusion. Fluid might accumulate in the space around the lungs, that is pleural space. 13. Bile duct obstruction. Chronic inflammation can affect the bile ducts, leading to obstruction and complications related to liver function. It must be noted that both acute and chronic pancreatitis require prompt medical attention. Where acute pancreatitis is a medical emergency and chronic pancreatitis needs long-term management. If you suspect pancreatitis or experience these symptoms, it is crucial to seek medical care for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. If you have any questions or query, please leave us a comment. Subscribe to my channel at YouTube at Gertologist and press the bell icon for updated video. You can also follow my page at Facebook and follow me on Instagram. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video.